Ah, uh, brilliant. So mansplaining is also used in an ironic fashion with them too. Sorry, you're not taking that from us. You've already taken games and comics and God knows what else. But you're not taking that, okay? We deserve the right for the ironic use of your terms. Hello. Hi. Ladies. Jesus Christ, a m'lady already. Ten seconds in. Well, Huyton, you have already outdone yourself. This is your best acting performance since... Um... Uh... I don't know when, but this is your best performance yet. Well done, you deserve an Oscar, but Oscars are so white, so sadly, you can't have an Oscar. You have to give it to a man of colour, preferably black, because... Latinos and Asians, they don't really exist in this little Oscar so white thing. They're not the recipients, so yeah, you're gonna have to give it to some black guy, like, I don't know, somebody good. Oh, wait, no, we can't give it to someone good. So we'll just give it to, I don't know, uh, Shaquille O'Neal or something. I'm a wheat and I'm here to mansplain to you everything that is wrong with Star Wars Rogue One. Oh, really? I'd love to stay in chat, Will, but you're camping my style a little bit. Uh, I, I'm trying to, you know, make a good video here, and, well, I don't want your mansplaining, your white-splaining bullshit burrowing into my brain, but, oh well, we're here, I'll have to put up with you for a couple of minutes, so, go on. Starting with the female protagonist. Shock horror, a woman, oh, who would have known, yeah. Huh. Who am I supposed to identify with in this movie? You know, it's funny that you mention that. You're the only feminist that's ever actually brought that up. Why do feminists always go on about how women and LGBT people and black people, etc, etc, always need people like them to identify with? Yet they never really give that little train of thought and give it to white men as well, right? Like you. Interesting that, isn't it? I always wondered, but... The thing is, you don't really need to be a woman or a man to appeal to women and men. You can just be a human being and have thoughts and feelings that are similar to your own because we're an empathetic species. Well, at least most of us are an empathetic species. There's some of you, uh, you amongst them, who are not particularly empathetic and thus need people like you in order to empathise with. And it just happens that they have to be feminists, but... Hey, whatever. Whatever, you know. What do I know? I'm a shitlord. It's bad enough that we had to wait however long it is we had to wait for Star Wars The Force Awakens to come out, but they told us that Luke Skywalker was going to be in it. He didn't even talk, spoiler alert. They didn't really tell us an awful lot, really. They just said he was in it. They didn't say how long in it, how much of a role he had in it. He was just in it, and he was in it. That was all we needed to know. Doesn't matter what his role was, and I assume it's going to be expanded. But... I fail to see how a long wait is bad enough. I mean, I don't remember anyone really complaining about this. I don't remember men complaining or women. I think it's just you. It's just you. You thought this all up in your head, you know. Whatever. And then Han Solo was in it, but he dies, spoiler alert, and we have to spend the entire rest of the movie looking at a woman who's fully clothed. How am I supposed to care about anything that happens in that movie when there's nothing in it for me to jerk off to? And that is what they actually think about men. What is ironic is not the fact they're using mansplaining as an ironic device, even though it strangely isn't ironic. Oh my god, we're going into ironicception here. The problem is that this is actually sexist, what he said. This is, this is terrible. This is off the scales sexist. This is what feminists actually think about men, that we're just things that have monstrous libidos, we're sex-crazed lunatics who have no respect for women. We only see them as fuck toys who we want to get pregnant or just have sex with, have a way with and then abandon. And the only way we'll watch a woman in a film is if she takes all her clothes off and there's a slut or something throughout the whole video. That's just ludicrous. That is ludicrous. Uh, people were annoyed at Star Wars for numerous reasons. I mean, then they didn't actually hate the film. Some did. Men can totally watch a film with a woman with her clothes on, for fuck's sake. The first two films had Leia fully clothed, and Return of the Jedi only had her 
uh, skimpy for only half an hour. And that was her idea. That was Carrie Fisher's idea to do that. She wanted to make it a bit more risque. She's a shitlord. In fact, she was disappointed that it wasn't skimpy enough. If that doesn't say something about Star Wars and women, that they don't mind doing this type of stuff, I don't know what does, but carry on, Will. And in most of Star Wars, Princess Leia isn't even wearing a bra, which, last time I checked, was empowering, feminist. And nobody ever said that. Nobody's complaining about that, about Star Wars. They're complaining that, yes, Rey is a Mary Sue, but they're not saying she's a Mary Sue because she doesn't have enough clothes off. It's the opposite. She's too perfect. She's not flawed. John Boyega's character is flawed to some degree. He's a he's a stormtrooper wrestling with morality and shit. He he was a bit cowardly at the beginning. He lied, and Han is Han, and Chewie's Chewie's. Actually, we all know these characters. But Ray, she's new, and she, apart from a few instances where she's learning, she's far too perfect. She can do hardly anything wrong. That's what people didn't like about it. And the Rogue One trailer is kind of looking like it's no different. And Disney themselves are saying that they are purposely forcing these types of characters onto us because of the quality. It's not because they want to make good art, they want the money. They want to pander to your audience, even though the Star Wars audience is not your audience. SJWs don't watch Star Wars. And why the hell are we getting a Star Trek fucking actor talking about fucking Star Wars? That's what I don't get. Why are you here, Wheaton? You have no stake in this. You're part of a rival franchise. These things are ruining my childhood. Uh, no, uh, they just said it was a flaw in what was generally a good film and a return to form for Star Wars. They're not saying it ruined their childhood. Only one person that I know of actually said that, and that was Red Pill Philosophy. But you're saying it as if all Star Wars fans who are male, and all males in general, were saying that when it was just idiots like him, and he was a minority. And even then, he didn't say that he he was angry because she didn't have enough clothes off. He, he just didn't like how, how it was written, and he thought it was propaganda. And you doing this doesn't help. This just f affirms what he said, although it doesn't necessarily confirm. Wheaton, none of this happened, and even when something close to it happened, it wasn't like you described. So just stop lying and shaming an entire fan base and demographic of people who happen, you know, to be your brothers for the ladies. Please, you just come across even more of a hack than you already do. They're taking everything that mattered to me and they're fisting it. The f oh, look, oh, oh, hey, look, oh, here, there's more for you. There's that, Ghostbusters. Why, yes, they have fucked over Ghostbusters. Did you watch the trailer? Star Wars? No, they didn't. I thought it was all right. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was better than all of the prequels put together. And I think the people who think it's shit because of Rey need to rewatch it and realise that she's just one flaw in what is really a good film. That's okay, maybe Rogue One is going to change that, so I'm going to put it on and, oh, terrific, another female protagonist. It's not really the fact that she's female, it's because of the way she's written as a female. She's going to be another Mary Sue who will only appeal to feminists and not to everybody else. There'll be no way any normal person, apart from social justice warriors and cunts like you, would find that appealing. But even then, if she does one thing that you don't like, then she doesn't appeal to you. That's the problem. They're badly written characters. Unless Rey becomes an actual character and has flaws like every human being and like every other Star Wars character in the universe, then they will shut up about her being a Mary Sue, because then she'll no longer be a Mary Sue. But until we actually see the movie, we can't really judge the Rogue One character, but it's looking like she will be like that. But it's not because she's a woman. It's her archetype. It'd be like uh, making a male character, and he can do no wrong, or whatever the male equivalent of a Mary Sue is, I'm sure you, the fans, will tell me that in the comments. But hey... Carry on. Maybe Star Wars just doesn't care about men. Uh, no. Feminists don't care about men. And nobody who's a male Star Wars fan ever said that. Nobody said that. Not even the Red Pillars said that. Is what I would say if I was a complete f***ing moron. Yeah. You did say that because you are a fucking moron. Here's the deal. Oh, um, 
Your green screen's broke. Boys, Star Wars The Force Awakens didn't ruin Star Wars. George Lucas ruined Star Wars with the Star Wars prequels, specifically a little movie called The Phantom Menace. Again, most people loved or at least liked or tolerated The Force Awakens and most people, apart from the most ardent fanboys, agree that George Lucas ruined Star Wars. But Star Wars is on the precipice of potentially being ruined when people like you get their grubby little hands on it and make everything worse. Because as we've seen, feminism, social justice, are cancers that turn everything into shit. Representation in film, television, media really matters. No, it doesn't. The quality of the product matters. But then again, this is you we're talking about. If the quality really mattered, you wouldn't have a job. It is awesome that something as beloved as Star Wars has strong, positive, non-sexualized female leads. A uh, Princess Leia, for fuck's sake. And by the way, and by the way, in Return of the Jedi, actually, uh, she was forced to dress like that because she was enslaved and captured by Jabba the Hutt. She wasn't sexualized, even though it was, you know, Carrie Fisher's idea in the first place to make it a bit more risque, and George Lucas didn't want it because he wanted to appeal to the kids. There are countless other films and other stuff out there that don't sexualize women and do a good job, and that's been that way for years. There are some films and TV shows and games that don't even have women in it, but that's sexist anyway, even though no women are being objectified, or really the term should be subjectified, yet you're gonna complain because it's just all men. Why is it that you all forget about Leia? Leia is important because without Leia you don't have Rey, and without Rey we don't have shit like this. Yeah, that'll be the legacy of Rey unfortunately because you cunts have to appropriate everything. You can claim geek cred, but you were never ever truly a geek, you're an actor mate. You're not. You were on Star Trek, yeah. Whatever. You were on the. You on TNG. Who cares? The fact that you are so clearly anti-nerd and so utterly, utterly a hack, along with your girlfriend Felicia, that I, I am shocked that you are still getting shit like this. How the hell do channels like this think you're worth the money? You're not. And you don't even speak for us. You don't speak for Star Wars. You don't even speak for Star Trek. You are just a mouthpiece for propaganda, feminist propaganda. And you should be ashamed that you shame and denigrate the people that put you there in the first place. The people who paid the money, paid the taxes, etc, etc. Who made you. You didn't make you. We did. So a little bit of respect for the majority audience that is male who bought TNG and put up with your shit performances. But no, we're just sexists. Because the only person here who failed was you. But it's our fault because we're sexist nerds, am I right? That young girls can get excited about and emulate and grow up to be like. Oh, won't somebody please think of the female children? Look, Wheaton. These girls do not need female characters in order to emulate someone. They don't. Again, these are just characters and they don't need to be the same gender in order to feel empathy and respect for. I think there's loads of women who like Han Solo and want to be like Han. Just like there are many guys who would probably admire the tenacity and courage and balls that it took for Leia to kill the most feared warlord and crime boss in the galaxy. This is irrelevant, it should be relevant, but people like you, gender identity following idiots, have to make it about identity and say, oh, men can only identify with men and women can only identify with women. It's bullshit. It's wrong, it's ridiculous, and it just makes art worse. As white dudes, if you have a problem with that, you know where you can go? Literally anywhere in entertainment. That's so funny, because that doesn't actually describe your career as an actor, Will. You literally cannot go anywhere because, you know, triple A's, won't touch you, and triple A's are gaming developers. Also, Hollywood Studios, major ones, will not really approach you for major roles anymore. Well, hardly ever, because you're shit. Uh, great actors and actresses get to go anywhere. It doesn't matter their ethnicity or their gender. They can go anywhere because they're good enough, or popular enough, or well paid enough. It doesn't matter, does it? This is Hollywood after all. But you don't have anything like that. You don't have the looks, you don't have the talent, you don't really have anything. That's why you can't go anywhere. 
That's what's so ironic about that statement. Pick a video game, pick a movie, pick a television show, pick the news. Oh, or go to f***ing Congress because we run everything. Japan. India, Nigeria, in fact any other country that isn't white that has its own film industry is not run by white guys. Maybe in America, white men may be in leadership positions mostly, mainly because you know they're part of a majority of the population. The other part that is a majority happens to be white women, but who cares? That's America. America is not the world, Americans and Wheaton. You're not the world. The world does not run the way America runs. It doesn't look the same as America. Please, just bear that in mind, Wheaton. Mitch's law, as usual, people. If you don't like it in Star Wars, too f***ing bad. You'll get over it. There's nothing to get over. These people have been there since the start. I'm Will Wheaton, and you've been mansplained. Back to you, ladies. Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> Thank you.